So, are you hungry today? Yes. Yeah. So don't worry, brothers and sisters, we will be filled this morning. And don't worry, we have many things to eat, so it will be a very long feast. No. Okay, so my message is uh, the topic of my my sermon is Jesus Christ loves you. Do you love him? Okay, supposed to be our text should be Think not that I come to send peace on earth, I come not to send peace but a sword. So instead, the, birth, the text should be, we love him because he first loves us. I hope that this text will be our text this Sabbath. But let's go back to the text. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, what is our text in Matthew 10 verse 34? And our title is Jesus loves you. Do you love him? Now we have there in the Bible text that we that is projected there, sword. What does the sword mean in the Bible? But before that, let us pray, brothers and sisters. Dear God, dear Father, Lord, we, I come humbly in front of you, dear God. I'd like to ask for forgiveness for my sins, Lord, so that I will be worthy to receive your Holy Spirit, dear God. Lord, I humbly come, dear God. I'd like to ask your Holy Spirit, Lord, to be the one who will be speaking right now to your people, dear God. And I would like, dear God, that you will be the teacher this morning. And may you feel and may you touch the heart of the people. Your people, dear God, who will be listening to the message. And thank you, dear God, for hearing and answering your prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. So, what does the word mean in the Bible? What is the beautiful S from sword if you become word? The Bible says here, for the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two sword each. So to each sword, piercing even to the divine asunder of the soul and spirit of the joint and marrow, and it is discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. ถ้าเราเอาคําว่าดาบนะคะในภาษาอังกฤษถ้าเราเอาตัวเอฟออกนะคะก็จะเป็นคําว่าเวิร์ดนะคะหรือว่าพระคํานะคะเราจะมาอ
He is Jesus Christ. As you can read here in the screen projected, the verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And, the, and we know that who dwelt among us, and that is Jesus. พระวาทะทรงดำรงอยู่และพระวาทะทรงเป็นพระเจ้าและพระวาทะทรงเป็นพระเจ้าในข้อที่สิบสี่พระวาทะได้ทรงบังเกิดเป็นมนุษย์และ
So, in all the Bible, all the scriptures, we will know Jesus if we read all the scriptures in the Bible. So we will find Jesus anywhere in the scriptures. Since Jesus is the, the word of God. Okay, let's go back to the question. What is the purpose of all the scriptures? The word of God. It says here, for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. For what purpose that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works? Now, let's have a short review, brothers and sisters. So, in Matthew, Jesus Christ came as a sin peace. Now, to be continued, why came with the sword? And the sword represents the Word of God. The Word of God is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life that we can come to the Father. And bread also symbolizes the Word of God and Jesus Christ. And all scripture is given by God as our God for righteousness, that his people may know how to be in his likeness, perfect unto all good works. So the sword and the bread. What is the purpose of the sword and how do we eat the bread according to the Bible? So the answer is to divide. No? So now we are going to divide the word God. To divide what? Okay. To divide the truth. So how to divide the truth? Okay, study. We will study. In 2 Timothy 2, verse 15, it says here, Study to show thyself unto a fool unto God, the workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we are going to study the word to divide. Then what next after studying? What are we going to do next after studying? Do. We have two letters. Very easy. Do. So in First Thessalonians it says there, and ye study to be quiet, and to do all business, and to do to work with your own hands, as we commanded you, that you may walk honestly toward them that are without, and that you may have the love of nothing. และจงตั้งเป้าว่าจะอยู่อย่างสงบและทำธุรกิจส่วนตัวของตนและทำการงานด้วยมือของตนเองเหมือนอย่างที่เรากำชับท่านแล้วเพื่อท่านจะได้เ
Weary and guilt and sin walk in tumors. It's in the Bible it says, and further by this son, admonish of making many books. There is no end, and much study is weariness of the flesh. Yes, but as I said, we only study and we do not apply it. Yeah, this is true. And I know most of you experience this one. Me as well, experience this one as well. So, to continue with this text, it says here, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandment, for this is the full duty of man. Why, brothers and sisters? For God shall bring everyone in judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or will it be evil. Yes, brothers and sisters, judgment is already at hand. What happens if we know it is the right thing to do and then not to do it? Okay. Therefore, to him that knoweth do good and do it not, to him it is sin. And sometimes we boast, oh, I will do it this for the Lord. I shall live for the Lord. I will do that. And I will do this if the Lord will sin. In verse 16, it says, Rejoicing your boasting, all such rejoicing is evil. Yes, but it's better to be quiet and do it what is wrong. Now, then what next after studying? Do. Now, this is just a reminder again. What happens if we remain ignorant? We will be cursed if we remain ignorant. In the Bible it says here, but people who know it not the law are cursed. Another one in Proverbs 19 verse 2, also the soul be without knowledge, it is not good, and he that tasted with his feet sin as well. Friends, do you want to be cursed? Of course not. So let's not be ignorant. So Jesus warns us and foretells the future that many will be deceived in the future. So you can read there in the text, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, singing in the eye of Christ, and shall deceive me. Going to verse 24. For they shall deceive the very elite. Even the chosen people already will be deceived. So Jesus was warning us to take heed, to be careful, and to be watchful. Say, in the Bible, many are deceiving themselves that they please God in their own eyes. But the Bible text says here, many will say, oh, Lord, Lord. Many say, will say, but shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. But he doeth the will of the Father which is in heaven. Many say in the day, Lord, have you not prophesied in the name? And the name of cast out demons, and the name done many wonderful works. And then the Lord Jesus Christ will say, And then I will profess unto them, I never know, depart from me, that's what they need to do. 
ในพระคัมภีร์ได้กล่าวไว้นะคะมีหลายๆคนที่จะมาบอกกับพระองค์ว่าพระองค์เจ้าข้าพระองค์เจ้าข้าข้าพระองค์กล่าวพระวจนะในพระนามของพระองค์และได้ขับขี่ออกในพระนามของพระองค์และได้กระทำการมหาจัจจ์เป็นอันมากในพระนามของพระองค์พระองค์ไม่ใช่หรือเมื่อนั้นเราจะกล่าวแก่เขาว่าเราไม่รู้จักเจ้าเลยเจ้าผู้กระทำทำชั่วจงไปเสียให้คนหน้าเรา Okay, to continue the text of the verse, it says here, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, yet the kingdom of heaven, but doeth the will of my Father, which is heaven. Okay, continue. ไม่ใช่ทุกคนนะคะที่บอกว่าเขาได้ทำความดีต่างๆค่ะจะได้ขึ้นสวรรค์ค่ะแต่ว่าใครที่ทำตามน้ำพระทัยของพระเจ้าค่ะ Okay. So here is the continuation of the text. Therefore, whosoever heareth the saying of the mind and doeth them, I will like him unto a wise man which build his house upon a rock. And the rain descend, and the flood came, and the wind blow and beat upon the house, and it fell not for it was found upon a rock. <laughs> ก็เปรียบเสมือนผู้ที่มีสติปัญญาสร้างเรือนของบนของคนบนศิลาฝนตกและน้ำไหลเชี่ยวลมก็พัดเรือนั้นแต่เรือนมิได้พังลงเพราะว่ามันตั้งเพราะว่ารากตั้งอยู่บนศิลาเฮ้ยเจสุสบอกเราเฮ้ยเฮ้ยสุกำลังบอกกับเราเพราะว่าเราต้องสร้างรากฐานของเราไว้บนศิลา And in Matthew it says here, and everyone that heareth the same mind and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell, and the great was the fall of it. But if we read the text first, the text says that if anyone hears the word of God and doesn't do it, it is like the person who built his house. บ้านของเขานะคะไว้บนทรายและเมื่อลมพัดหรือว่าฝนมาพายุมานะคะก็ลมทลายลงค่ะ Friends, if we hear the word of God and did not do them, then we shall be like foolish man who built a house upon the sun in a sinking sand. ถ้าเรา